extreme. Yes. This is Andrew from Visions TV Online. I'm back with another interview, and this is an international interview, guys. I'm excited. Like I say, I'm always excited to have international artists, but I used to, I, used to, I do love my UK people, I have to say. But look, this is a special interview. We've got a, a business entrepreneur here. We have a gospel, contemporary gospel artist. She is, she's doing some tremendous things in the US and we, her name is called Erica Reed. Erica Reed, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you, sir? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Like I said, I'm glad to have you online with us. So what brings you from all the way, what part of the US are you from? Just tell me where, what part from the US are you from? St. Louis, I am from St. Louis. St. Louis, St. Louis okay. So have you ever yeah. been to the UK before? I have not been to the UK before. All right, so today you're gonna to get a little taste of the UK by speaking to an Englishman from, from the UK and we're gonna be interviewed today. So you excited? I'm excited, let's do it. All right, so let's go, let's go, let's go. So Erica, so I know, yeah, that you are a business entrepreneur, you're into finance and stuff like that. So how did you get into that type of industry? And um, we will get into your music, but I want to do a little bit of digging, a little bit of background <laughs> about you. So let, let, let's start off small and gradually get there. So tell me about you and your business career and entrepreneurship. Well, um, I've always been able to sing. Uh, but one of the things that I wanted to do was to have a career in finance. Wow. Um, and so from there, working in corporate America, uh, worked in corporate America for, gosh, over 20 years. Well, right mm -hmm. at 17 years. I'm sort of up in a little bit. Um, and from there, taking all the insight and the knowledge, you know, I went on and um, obtained my master's degree. Yeah. So I wanted to take everything that God had given me and put it back into something that I could utilize for myself and for my family. And so we do, we have, um, you know, a very great restaurant, Gulf Shores Restaurant and Grill yeah. uh, in the St. Louis area and it's Cajun seafood. So, you know, if you're ever in St. Louis then you can definitely come out and, you don't know, get, enjoy an afternoon with food. us. <laughs> don't get me started with the food, I love my food. So. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I would definitely be coming to see you in regards to the restaurant. So, and so the, the, the yeah. restaurant, how long has that been going? 15 years, 15 oh. years. Yeah, so we've um, been in business for 15 years. So wow. we're very thankful, yeah. So what sparked that vision? You know, I think it's the drive to want to um, help the community as well because we, we are big uh, believers in giving back to our communities yeah. and helping young people as well. Most of the people yeah. that we've employed have been with us uh, since day one. So that says a lot about you know, their longevity and um, working with us. So we're very excited about it. Oh, amazing, amazing. So tell me about your new, new is it album, isn't it? It's an album, it's called The Time Is Now, is that correct? Uh, no, the new album is titled, you, you want to know about the time is now the first, the second one, but oh, the new yeah. album is titled Erica Reed, it's self-titled. Yes, that's correct. Erica Reed. So, so tell me about, more about that one, the new album, Erica uh, Reed. This is, this is, yeah, it's a multi-genre uh, album. Yeah. It's a mixture of all different types of songs that um, I think that everyone, there's something on there for everyone. From, of course, Get Up to yeah. I'm Sorry, um, Standing at the Gates with, you know, to Better Than Gold, um, Enough. 
So there's a, a variety of songs that I know that, you know, every family across America, the UK and everywhere can pick something and love it. Okay. Yeah, it can become their favorite. Okay, so but what is your favorite track out of that album? Oh my gosh. Now, you know, it wouldn't be fair if I said all of them because all of them are. My favorite song. Gosh, I hate to tell you this. that one, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, I, I may have to pass on that one. No, all of them are my favorite, but I think if there's one that's dear to my heart, um, it's Get Up. Yeah. And, and it's Get Up because it's so motivational. Come it's on. a song, it's a happy song. It's a song that people can really gravitate to. You know, it's a song that uh, in the morning time, you can set your alarm. alarm. It's yeah. a song that if you're at a reunion or a church gathering, um, you can play that song and um, it brings um, you know everybody together. So it's Get Up, because it's, it's that time with everything going on, Right now, it's time for everybody to get up, make a change, start moving, and you know, let's do it together. Come on, come on, come on. So, yeah. what inspired you to do um, write the song "Get Up" then? You know, that song actually came by a surprise. Mm. Um, in listening to um, um, a guy, you know, sort of play the guitar just a tad bit. I just felt, um, I don't know, just get up, just just came out my mouth. I guess that's the best <laughs> way to put it. Um, and from there, it was like, you know, just put one foot in front of the other. Because if you're getting up, you have to move. If you're getting up, you know, there's a transition that takes place in your life. Mm. And um, so it started with that. So just get up. And, um, you know, and then in the, in the sequence of writing, I wanted it to be happy. Yeah. You know, grab your sister, grab your brother, because you can't go unless you take someone else with you. So, yeah. Come on. That's come what that on. I'm feeling inspired, you know, just to <laughs> get up. Come on. That's, hey, get hey. up. That's, that was the whole point of the song was to tell people to get up. Yeah. And, and to also, you know, think about writing a, a song that's universal, that will be around even, you know, when the grandkids or, you know, family members and everybody still here you know to have that song still around for generations to come yeah yeah and I think it's, it's, it is an encouragement as well you know because especially during the season it's easy to kind of mm -hmm. like kind of sit back and just let things fly past you but you know yeah. like you, you, you in this season you just want to be able to just not be in lockdown in, so, in, in some sense, because in the UK, we're in lockdown. We, you're not allowed to go out or anything like that. So it, it's an encouragement to, in a sense that you, you try to just go, go, like God doesn't limit you, you know? Mm -hmm. he, he, there's no limits to what God can do. Uh, and so, so when, when, when you trust and lean on God, you know, you can motivate yourself and say, get up and let's go do what he wants you to do. You know? Well, that's right. And so, and, and, and if you think about it in a whole different light, um, mm -hmm. I think about it as faith. Yes. In order for you to get up, you believe that you can walk. You believe that, you know, without a shadow of a doubt, if, if you've been walking, you, when you get up, you're going to walk. Yeah, so yeah. I think with the song, Get Up, anything mm -hmm. is possible. And with okay. God, he specializes in the impossible. Yeah. And now that people have time, to sit around, to 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 uh, mingle with family in their homes and, and do things that they've never done. Yeah. You can get up in your own home, start writing a book. Mm -hmm. You can get up in your home, start a business online. You yeah. can get up right now. If you haven't been reading the Bible, start yeah. reading the Bible, work on your craft, work on your ministry. Yeah. So Get Up has so many um, untold stories that you know that that we can we can generate from it. So yeah, 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 and that definitely is definitely encouragement to this season. So I see anybody who will be listening to this e interview definitely need to go check out the song from Erica uh, to, about getting up. You know, like in, and make it be a testimony to yourself. You know, and just to mm -hmm. 
You know that God's already in control. You, you know that he's already in the, in the life-changing business, you know. You know he's already in the shifting business in, in, your, in your life or in anybody's life. And he can make mm -hmm. a way out of no way. So you mm -hmm. just need to hear the encouragement from Erica just to get up. Get up. They get and up. Trust in God. Right. And let go and let God to do his thing in your life. Yeah, so yeah. That, that's that, that's the encouragement from Erica, you know, uh, and, and I love that song. When I heard it, I was like, yeah. I mean, it's well, yeah. definitely time to get up. Mm -hmm. You can work out to it, get up. Mm -hmm. You know, if you, you know you want to work on, um, you know, some things in your personal life, yeah. get up, you know, put it on, you, you know, a, three to four jumping jacks, a couple of push-ups, you know, yeah. whatever it takes, you know. Um, but just do something positive. Get up and do something positive. Make a phone call. Tell someone you love them. Come Get on. up and yeah. do something. Because I, I tell you, just by getting up, your day can make somebody else's day very special. Yeah. So, yes, get up. Amen. Come on. Mm -hmm. I love that, Erica. I love that. Mm -hmm. So tell yeah. us what I know. I know it's the, the, the title of the album is called Erica Reed, but how, why Erica Reed? Because it's, it's, it's about you, isn't it? Obviously. You know what? Um, it is, it, it's not about me. I wish that it was about me, but unfortunately it's, it's really not about me. Mm. Um, I wanted it to be an album again, that someone could pick up and, and maybe with the first song being moved me that, you know, I like that, you know, right. the next one to know that um, his blood's enough, Come you know, on. during these times. So, you know, um, after that, you know, the, the, the next song, um, I'm tired, you know, tired, but, but if you're tired, you know, you can lean and depend on Jesus, yeah. you know, if you're tired, you know, so there's a lot of great stuff calling, you know, there's a lot of young people that are going through, but um, you can call on someone, you know? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of great songs on this album. Um, Get Up just happened to be the one that's really motivational, yeah. but there's something on every song that's going to reach out and touch the heart. So it, it was not, uh, God just used me as his vessel. Yeah. He just used me as the person to deliver the message. Mm -hmm. uh, and, um, uh, He's going to do the rest um, because if, if, if I step out there, I'm going to mess up. But if I let God do it, if I step back, hey, he's going to do everything and he's going to do it right. Yeah. So it's not about Erica. I'm just a vessel that just asks, Lord, just use me. Yeah, use me. Let me be that light. Yeah, and, and, and that's that's what we all want to be in that position mm -hmm. so that we can hear and to be used by God, you know, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and, and, and you, it, when, when times get gets hard, you know, you, if you just spend time to listen and to hear from God, he'll be able to give you the tools to navigate through life, you know, mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah, so I I, I I totally hear you when you when you were saying that definitely, Erica. Yeah, yeah. So, the gifts that we have, they all belong to him, and so we just mm. give him back to the giver. We're you know he's the potter, and and we're just we're just the clay. And yeah. um, you know one of the songs that's on the album is um, "Standing at the Gates." Mm -hmm. Yes, and um, that's another favorite one. Uh, but it's a reminder that. In all that we do, you know, our goal is to be inside the gate. But we all one day will stand at the gate yeah. to hear what we've done. A lot of it we may know that we've done. Yeah. Um, but, you know, the last call is his. But my goal and your goal, and I'm sure everybody yeah. else that's listening and watching this, their goal is to be inside that gate. And um, during these times that we have right now, you know, these are times to reflect on life, where we are, where we plan to go, yes. what we plan on doing in the future, where we plan on going and how we're going to get there. Mm. And um, if Jesus is not in the plan, it's going to be tough. Yeah. 
Yeah. So we have to make some transitions and some changes. And we've seen a lot of our loved ones and different people leave here, you yeah. know? Um, so standing at the gate, do you want to be outside the gate or do you, is your goal to be inside the gate? So that's another one that, you know, that I really like because it, it puts things in perspective. perspective yes. Yeah. Yes. Wow. So, you know what? I, I'm sure after this conversation and whoever's going to be listening to this, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure that they're going to be definitely intrigued to actually listen to your album. <laughs> Uh, that you, you, I could tell by the conversation that we're hearing that you already know that God's already in the midst you know, of our conversation, and and you could tell that from this conversation, someone's life is going to be changed. You know, someone's life is going to be touched, and and I'm, I'm sure that's going to be the case when people actually listen to your album, and 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 it, it, there's there's the message of conviction that will be happening in the atmosphere when people are actually going to be listening to your music. So that's yeah. the, that's my, what my prayer is. You know, my prayer is, is that when people are here and listen to your music, music that that's going to be a, a, a going to be a shift in the atmosphere um mm -hmm. and and it's going to be a change in someone's life that yeah. when they when they hear it that the soul is going to be saved and that's the ultimate mm -hmm. mission you know that's what god wants us to do while we are here that you know? that's the that's the that's why we are here mm -hmm. um to to touch hearts to touch minds mm -hmm. um to change uh the minds of people and to tell everybody that we know that Jesus is still alive. Yeah. He he just didn't get up off the cross. He's been off the cross. Yeah. But we need to live our lives like like he's here right now walking with us. Yeah. Inspiring, uplifting and telling everybody that we know about Jesus. Yeah. About Jesus because he is the reason. You know, they say for the season, but he's the reason for every day of our, our being. You know, he's why we are here. And um, we're going to all be challenged when we get to heaven mm -hmm. on how many people did you tell about me? Mm -hmm. And I want to be one that when I get there, that I can say, you know, Lord, I tried to tell as many people as possible about you because that's why we're here. We're not here for any other reason. It's no big eyes. It's no little use. It's all about Jesus. And when you put Jesus in the mix, yeah. I don't care what you're going through, where you've been, it's all going to work out. Yeah. And you will be able to get up. <laughs> <laughs> you may have to get up with Jesus. Come on. Anything else, you can't. But with Jesus, you can do it. He said that you can do all things, things yes. through him. Said all things through Christ that strengthens me. Come you on. can do it. Yeah. So yeah. Come on now. So tell yeah. everyone where before I get there, let's play a little game. Let's let, let, let's let's let, let, let's shake off the old seriousness now. Let's let's loosen up a little <laughs> bit. God likes us to have a little bit of fun as well, you know. So I okay. let's, let's play a little game. This game's called Song Association. Uh, have you heard of this game before? No, no, I have not. You, you, have you, okay, so you <laughs> now got, I'm scared. <laughs> all right, okay. So this is how, what how the game is played. Yeah, is that I will say a word. Yeah, it could be a random word. I will give you ten seconds, ten seconds, mm -hmm. to actually find a song that relates to that word. Quite simple, huh? Oh man. <laughs> okay. Hey. You, you think you're ready for this? I'm, I'm, hey, hey, nothing beats, I'm gonna try. Let's go. <laughs> All right, I was, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take it off real easy for you. And the first word is joy. Um. Joy to the world. <laughs> you you <laughs> well, we just come out that Christmas season, so hey. we're kind of <laughs> <laughs> go on, go on, sing joy to the world. Joy to the world. That's the only thing I could think of. That song. I have to sing it. 
Yeah, you're gonna sing it. You're gonna sing the song. Oh my god! <laughs> I like this game. <laughs> um, um, that's a Christmas song. Give me another one. All right, I'll give you. I'll give you another. Mm -hmm. one. Okay, we we could tick mm -hmm. that off to say that you actually got one right. Yeah. Okay. I got one right. Okay. All right, you got one right. You got joy. Okay. So the next word is faith. I walk by faith by Erica Reed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Go ahead. How about that? Yeah, go so ahead. Walk by faith and not by sight. Said I put my trust in him. Believe in Jesus. There you go. All walk right. Okay. There you go. There you go. You got two. You got two, right? All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the next word is. Abide. Abide. Well, I sure don't know a song. I don't know anything about abide. Uh, you got to get the Sandman out here because I don't know anything about abide. Uh, <laughs> I don't know it. <laughs> you got two, one. No. Oh, all I right. missed it. Yeah, okay. I, I, I don't know anything. All yeah. right, so give me another. Fine. We give you another one. All right, so you got two okay. out of three so far. All right, we're going to go up to five. All right, okay. okay. So, all right, so the next word is um, the next word is um. Let me, let me get someone from the audience to give me a shout. What, what, what next word should I say? <laughs> Any next word? Love. Mm. Jesus is love by um, Lionel Richie. Go ahead. Um. Now I have to think of the words. <laughs> uh, let's see. You gotta walk on. Was it walk on through temptation? Walk on through temptation. I think it's called love. <laughs> I don't know all the words. I don't know all the words. I just know all the. We, we, as we didn't get to the word love, right? We, we're going to have to. Um, say, we got to oh. get to the words love. Oh, Jesus is love. He won't let you down. Okay, there you go. That's all, that's uh, all I know. I don't know the words. <laughs> Okay, yeah. that, was, that was the fourth one. So we got one more. We got one more to go. Okay, so the last one. One more from the audience. Anyone from the audience? One more. One more. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go with um, Grace. Now you think you would think I would know all of the songs, but um, uh, Grace, uh, bye. Amazing Grace, Amazing Grace. How about that? <laughs> as easy as it gets. <laughs> amazing Grace. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Love yeah. it. That's All it. right, so you got you, yeah. got, you got your five. I, I'll give you that. I All got right. my five. All right, okay. So if we are going to wrap up in a second, what would you say 
that you would say to people to encourage them during this time and season? As we go through, um, and, I, and I honestly believe that um, the worst has passed. I believe that um, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Mm. There is a light that we should all be able to see. Those that are in Christ should be able to see the light that's in the back of this storm that we see right now. And that we will get through it. And we're going to end up in better places. We're going to be better people. And we're going to do greater things because of what God is allowing us to go through. Mm -hmm. And he does allow his people to go through, um, to make us better, to make us wiser. And I think that's, that's what I would tell everybody. Keep your head up, get up, do something positive. He doesn't want us to mope through this time. He wants us to get up through these times. Get up, do something positive. Get up, make something happen. Get up, do something in Christ. Keep it moving. That's what I would say. Amen. So everybody get up! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. No, that's what I would say. Get Erica, up. Erica, you've been amazing. It's <laughs> fantastic to actually get to know you and so spend some time with you online with you today. Tell everyone where they can find you and your music. You can go to Erica Reed Music. I'm on Facebook at Erica Reed Gospel and Erica Reed Music. I'm on IG, Instagram. Um, you can find the music on all online outlets. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, make my day. Make my day. You know, um, as artists and as we sing, we also, you know, need to be encouraged and uplifted as well. You know, um, so yeah, I'd love to hear from everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much. No worries. Guys. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in today. I, I This is Erica Reed. Go make sure you check out her music, uh, a new album called Erica Reed. You cannot miss it on social media. You cannot miss it on all digital, digital uh, distributors, platforms. Um, you could go stream it. You could go follow her and on all social media. Erica, Thank you once again for coming on Visions TV online. We look forward right. to hear more from you in the near future. And God bless you. May God bless you and everyone that's listening and tuning in. Have a prosperous and successful year. Thank you. Amen. Amen. All right.